الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله As believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one of the challenges we face and the challenges we must rid ourselves of to the best of our ability is the disease of racism and the disease of being prejudiced against your brothers we're not talking about preference that you may prefer to marry someone from your tribe you may prefer to marry someone of such and such perhaps race but when it comes to belittling and distinguishing and hating and discriminating against and voiding the Islamic Brotherhood Allah subhanahu uh, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said or Allah tabarak wa ta'ala said fi kitab al kareem إن المؤمنين إخوة أو كما قال سبحانه وتعالى Verily the believers are brothers And the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said وكونوا عباد الله إخوانا And be brothers all of you together So that, that this is the way to rectify our condition and affairs it's through true Islamic Brotherhood and putting aside your prejudices putting aside those things and that discrimination and we often see unfortunately in the West we see that sometimes hatred and disease manifests itself in the Muslim community and it's something we should not lie to ourselves about and say that it doesn't exist for example, we have many of our brothers and sisters who immigrated to America, for example, in many of the communities. In fact, I would probably say either half, if not more, most of the Muslims in America are immigrants, meaning they made hijra, some of, many of them from the Darul Islam to the Darul Kufr. Then on top of that, they have no ta'awun. They don't cooperate their brothers. They don't follow the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. And they don't seem to give it as much attention the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem وَتَعَوْنَ عَلَى بِرِي وَتَقْوَى وَلَا تَعَوْنَ عَلَى إِثْمِ وَعْدُوَانِ and cooperate all of you in righteousness and God fearfulness, taqwa. And do not cooperate in sinfulness and enmity. What is, where does racism fit into that? Racism is the opposite of, uh, it's an attribute which illustrates characteristics opposite of taqwa, opposite of, uh, of bir of righteousness and it is following the exact prohibition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in cooperation in sinfulness because how could that be that you could be in the same masjid or perhaps you won't even go to the masjid because these ones are of this race and because these ones are not as educated and not financially as stable as your community or whatever the case may be. So instead, you are ta'awan ala ithmi. You're cooperating. You refuse to cooperate with your brothers and sisters in, in bitter wa taqwa. But you embrace ithmi, sinfulness. Wa udwan. And, and, and enmity. How is that enmity? Because the racism, when you distinguish and you show these prejudices and you propagate those stereotypes then you're cooperating 
and sinfulness and enmity and creating enmity between you and your brothers. So part of that prescription and the means to getting that brotherhood is of course knowing one another. And it's knowing Islam better and practicing because the more taqwa you have and the more knowledge that you have and the more knowledge that you have of this sin and the more basic knowledge that you know about your brothers, knowing about one another's culture, to know and understand one another. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we created you in nations and tribes so that you would know one another in various nations and tribes and with different languages to know one another, not to hate one another, not to distinguish between another. In the akramakum, akramakum in the lahi atqakum, the the most loved, or those who Allah Subhanahu wa Taala regards in high esteem, is those who have taqwa not those who are lighter in skin color, not those whose language is like such and such, not those who their color that they're darker, not those that are of such and such tribe. So it's imperative as a community that we begin to address these issues and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm al nafiya wa rizqan tayyibah wa amal mutaqabbilan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam